Hello, welcome to another Barb Stamps video. Today I want to show you how to make these cute little ice cream sandwich boxes. This one would be a strawberry ice cream sandwich. And inside these cute little things are a box top and a box bottom, and then you can house some treats. This little guy here, finished size, is four and a half by two and a half. And we've got this cute little billy band. This one is a little bit larger as I wanted it to house a gift card. And so this one actually measures three by five. And then inside you'll find a gift card. And the boxes fit together really nicely. The Blushing Bride pieces are going to be scored at a half inch on all four sides. So on your two pieces that you scored, you're going to snip the ends, both ends, just snip them straight in on the little score lines. And then you're going to fold down all the edges. Okay, I've got them all folded. The next step is to add some adhesive. So to do that, I'm going to use our new Fast Fuse adhesive. It's uh, just a tape runner type adhesive. It's a little stickier than our snail, but a lot easier to use than sticky strip. So on these two little box pieces, I'm going to run the Fast Fuse just on these little corners here. And as you see, I'm rolling it on there and I'm just snapping it off. And if it doesn't want to roll nice, you just make it. Once you have all four tabs covered in adhesive, then we're just going to create the box. And for this bottom part, I like to go ahead and write bottom on the bottom of that. That way I know when I'm putting uh, the box, when I'm gluing it together, then I'll know which side is the top and which side's the bottom. So you're just bringing that little tab inside the box and pressing it together. Okay. You'll notice you do get a little excess cardstock here sometimes. Just trim those off. All right. Do the other side. So this one's the top. So with the top, you're going to place it over the bottom and you're going to bring your two side pieces in and then just fold up that side flap. And what's this what this is doing is allowing your box to be formed so that the top actually does fit over the bottom. And now your box bottom will slide right into your box top, just like that. Now for our cookies, I guess for our ice cream sandwich, we're going to use the piercing pad and piercing tool. Now I've got these stacked together and I'm just going to lay them on my pad and I'm just going to eyeball this. So I'm just going to bring my piercing tool in. I'm going to poke a hole through both of them. I'm going to do the same thing over here and then I'm going to eyeball one right in the middle. I'm going to come down, I don't know, about an inch I suppose and just keep creating the holes all the way down. Here are the two cookies. Now we're going to use our envelope punch board and we're just going to round these corners just like an ice cream sandwich actually looks. Okay, we now have our bottom and our top. I'm just going to use some multi-purpose liquid glue. I'm going to scribble that on the bottom. So as you can see, no one's going to know that you wrote bottom on there. And then I'm just going to eyeball this. Again, this is a lot of eyeballing, but I find that eyeballing is sometimes uh, faster. So put that on down and then just press it into place. Set that one aside. Here's your top. Same thing. We're just eyeballing this. So you're just eyeballing to make sure you have equal distance at the top and the bottom and on each side. 
no rocket science here. Okay, so the bottom fits into the top, just like so. For the small one here, I cut a piece of Whisper White to one half inch by seven and a half inches. I stamped images from the Bordering Blooms photopolymer stamp set. You can see I did the open flower, and then I went over it with the little inside part, the middle. So we've got some chocolate chip on the outside, blushing bright in the middle. And then I took a greeting from a dozen thoughts, You Made My Day, stamped that in chocolate chip. I wrapped it around my box, glued it with some fast fuse, and then I just quickly ran some Blushing Bride Baker's Twine around the box two or three times, tied it into a little bow. For the larger box, all I did was use some of our Blushing Bride striped girl green ribbon, tied it around, tied it into a knot. I happen to have a cute little spoon that I had gotten at a deli. I would love to see your little creations. If you want to email them to me, you can do so at, barb at barbstamps.com. And thank you so much for watching. If you need to order any of the supplies to create this cute little ice cream sandwich box, you can do so at www.shoppingwithbarb.com. Have a great day.